I can already tell these are going to be pretty drastic results. Um, I'm pretty blown away. So I'm excited to dive into this one. It's time for another data test. We have the flight scope Mevo Gen 2 today. In a prior video, we used my Gamer Ball, the Pro VX left dash with the metallic stickers that you can see here. And I got a lot of comments from you all saying we should do a test with the RCT balls as well. Uh, pick some of those up and hit very, really similar test to the last one. We still hit seven shots with a wedge, seven shots with a seven iron and seven with a driver. Um, again, that's 82 shots comparing that up against the TrackMan IO and we hit all of those with the metallic sticker balls. Did that again with the RCT balls to compare the results. A um, Little bit of a spoiler if you haven't seen the last video, the metallic stickers work great. Once we got into the driver, they started to get a little spinny on me. Um, so what we're gonna do today is mainly see, can the RCT balls improve those driver metrics? We'll still look at the wedge and seven iron, but I'm really curious to see, does that lower the spin on the driver for that backspin RPM metric? Um, we'll look at ball speed, launch angle, and carry distance as well, but really gonna put the spin under a microscope. That's what these radar balls are built for. So without further ado, I'm excited for this one. I'm really curious to see what the findings turn out to be. So. Let's go hit a boatload of golf shots and get back to you in a little bit. All right, we are halfway through the Mevo Gen 2 test, uh, about to switch to the RCT balls and compare them to the metallic stickers. Like I said before, I've hit like a hundred shots, including the warm up. got another 82 to go if it works perfectly, which it should. Uh, yeah, we'll get at the RCT balls, hit these shots, and then check in to look at the comparison. We'll see you in a bit. All right, we're done. Mevo Gen 2, we've got 82 shots with your metallic stickers, and we're gonna face them off against the RCT. I can already tell these are gonna be pretty drastic results. Um, I'm pretty blown away, so I'm excited to dive into this one. Uh, not gonna sit here. Actually, I am gonna sit here for like 10 minutes. I'm exhausted. Um, and then we'll get into the data. Bear with me. See you in a bit. Data analysis time. We have the Mevo Gen 2 launch monitor up against the TrackMan IO with both the metallic stickers and the RCT balls from Titleist. We're gonna look at two really simple metrics today, just carry distance for reference, but we're really honing in on the spin rate. Uh, RCT balls are designed with a really, really interesting technology that's, uh, I believe they call it an aspen leaf shape, that as the ball is spinning, you're going to be able to hit all of those metallic readings from the radar of the device and get a much more accurate result. And what we're gonna find out today is how much more accurate is it? So again, we have the metallic stickers, that's just on a regular Pro V1. And then we have the RCT balls with that integrated technology. So jumping in here, we have a lot of golf shots to look at. We hit a separate shot for the Mevo with um, the metallic stickers and a separate shot for the RCT balls. It was like 140 something golf shots. Um, so bear with me while I catch my breath as I'm looking at some of these. Looking at the averages, I'm gonna really hone in on the, the spin rate of the stickers first off. Um, you know, one thing to note is this was done with a Pro V1X versus a regular Pro V. That can make a couple hundred difference in, um, in RPMs. Just a random variable in there. But what I would expect to see with a wedge is 140 carry is my target. Um, and the reason those are coming up short is these 
non-RCT balls are coming out spinnier. You see that with the 7 iron as well, upwards of 7,500 RPMs of spin, and then with the driver, especially the Mevo was, was significantly higher um, than the IO. But yeah, the, the spin rates dropped a little bit with the RCT balls, which is just kind of an interesting fact. Um, another thing to note as we jump down to this thing called the mean average error, uh, I've talked about this a few times, that just the differential, the average differential to TrackMan with a pitching wedge, Mevo with the, I'm just gonna stop saying Mevo, stickers versus the RCT, everything's with the Mevo Gen 2. Um, carry distance was pretty much the same, but the spin rate was actually a little bit more volatile with the RCT. However, the TrackMan also is going to record better spin readings with the RCT balls. Either way, 70 RPMs versus 100 RPMs is like, it's so close. Um, it's really not gonna make any difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, so jumping into the seven iron, you see kind of similar numbers here, 98.9 on the spin differential for the stickers and then 65 for the RCT. This is a big one. Spoiler alert here, this is the finding of the day. The RCT balls for the driver. I'm gonna highlight these two numbers here. Really not that great with the stickers. RCT balls was absolutely dialed in. 57 RPMs of average difference, that is nothing. Uh, that's gonna result in, as you can see here, one yard difference in carry, um, assuming that all of the other metrics are exactly the same, which they won't be, uh, but spin rate is the most difficult to read. I mean, I, I don't need to, I don't really need to dive into much more here. This right here tells me get the RCT balls for the Mevo Gen 2. It is drastically better. Um, might even call up FlightScope right after this and say, let's start including RCT balls every single time versus these metallic sticker papers. Because um, this is, is shocking results to me. Um, and we're, we're definitely gonna do some more RCT tests with some other launch monitors to see, you know, is this that drastic of a difference? Another thing to note here, I mean, that's, that's the finding of the day. Another thing to note is these numbers are much more in line with what I would expect to see from TrackMan. So from that gold standard, the spin came down for me to what I would want to see with a wedge. The spin came down for me to what I would expect to see with a seven iron. I would want to see it just under 7,000. Um, spin was a little bit higher. I mean, I just, I hit a couple of drives. It's only seven shots. I hit a couple of drives with the RCT balls that just came out spinnier, just not as optimal of a swing. That's really the only finding there. But yeah, I mean, get the RCT balls. I think that's the summary here. Um, this is not sponsored by a Titleist. Um, this is just a guy that loves to geek out on launch monitor data. And this, uh, I'm gonna unhighlight this cell here. This right here is all the proof you need. That's it. So we'll definitely do some more tests with RCT. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you like it, definitely comment, uh, like it or comment with uh, any feedback you might have. If you want to suggest any further testing on this unit, on RCT, on any other launch monitors, throw it in the comments and we'll add it to our queue. Um, and of course, if you can support the channel by just simply subscribing and, and sharing to your friends, that would be awesome. But yeah, this was a fun one. We'll see you next time and get into some more golf simulation. Mm -hmm.